Mariana Jampolski is one of the most prominent and influential artists in Mexico. She is celebrated as an exceptional photographer, engraver, art curator, and editor. In the 1940s, when she was only 19 years old, Mariana heard a talk when she was a student at Chicago University by two printmakers who spoke passionately about the social commitment of the members of the Taller de Grafica Popular, TGP, the People's Workshop of Graphic Art, an organization that produced social and political art for the masses in Mexico. Mariana left the United States, her place of birth, and moved south of the border because she felt that she wanted to be a part of the artistic revolution that was taking place in Mexico. The TGP was an effort by many art creators to continue the social and cultural reform that was initiated by the muralists during the so-called Mexican art renaissance. The exhibition Primera Luz, First Light, is a collection of gelatin silver prints that were selected by the curator from different photographic series by the artist. In this show, Mariana's images communicate her profound love for Mexico and its people. In her work, she combines her artistic knowledge, her refined photojournalistic eye, and her heartfelt interest in the popular traditions of her adopted country. Children, parents, artisans, workers, and indigenous people are often portrayed in Mariana's works, as are depictions of magnificent landscapes that are photographed in mostly rural and humble settings. This exhibition was presented at the Bathhouse Cultural Center in 2001, one year before the artist's passing. The show was one of the few exhibitions of Mariana's work that was presented in Texas with the direct support of the artist. In his book, Pedro Paramo, Juan Rulfo writes of a character named Juan Preciado, who one day leaves his home to go to Comala, a small town in Mexico, to find the answers that could help him gain a better understanding of his own identity and origin. Preciado soon realizes that Comala is a place alive with whispers, shadows, and spirits, where every corner is populated by memories and secrets from the past. In his attempt to connect with his personal history, the character learns to listen to the echo of voices that, piece by piece, interweave a fantastic story that allows the protagonist to look inside of himself to find the answers that he was looking for. Mariana Jampolsky, like Preciado, also left for Mexico many years ago, and just as Juan Rulfo's character, she was immediately captivated by the voices she heard, the sights she encountered, and the people she met. Like Preciado, Mariana was incapable or unwilling to leave this enchanted place. Mariana always seems to find an almost magical, essential quality in the people and the objects that she photographs. Mariana finds beauty and sometimes beauty finds her. The photographer's attempt is to uncover the fundamental connection that is created by the relationships of people. She looks for the hidden connection that is often established by the elemental intimacy of the human touch. On one of her photographs, La Caricia, a mother lovingly caresses her child in an act that reveals a secret bond between the two of them. Here, the relation is brought into being. The child needs the love and care of her mother. In like manner, the mother feels an instinctive need to express her love by providing her protection. This connection is important to all who are part of it. Without her mother, the child feels lost. Without her child, the mother feels incomplete. This almost imperceptible form of communication is an invisible, silent language 
that Mariana has learned to witness and understand quite well. Mariana attempts to understand the people she photographs. She hears their voices when they seem to say to her, You can see me for who I am. You respect what I am and what I do. On her photograph, Niño Pulquero, a little boy working in a shop that sells a traditional Mexican alcoholic beverage, stares at the viewer as though he were saying, Here, I stand proud. I may be little, and what I do might seem irrelevant to some people, but I know that my work dignifies me, and I feel that I am important. Mariana lends her eyes and helps to tell the story of those whose voice is not always heard. On another photograph, a blind woman sits in the middle of a dark room, lit up only by the dim light of a window by her side. Her posture and the expression of her face reveal that she has not lost her strength and determination yet. She sits there and, perhaps, asks, Who am I? Tell me, for I have no eyes to see myself. Tell me a story of what you see in me. I want you to tell me about the objects in my room. Tell me about the lights and the shadows of this, my place. We imagine her saying, Be my eyes and describe the texture and the feel of the walls, of every corner, of the dust collected on the floor and on my own skin. Tell me, who is that peeking from outside the window? Please be my eyes and allow me to see myself through you. A long time ago, Mariana became an integral part of this strange but fascinating world. She lives and works among the people she photographs. Sometimes she finds herself walking along ordinary people. Other times she walks in the company of ghosts and other enchanting beings who are eager to tell her their secrets. She makes sure to capture all of them in her images. She makes sure to invite the viewer to a place where the surface of a rippled maguey plant becomes alive and suddenly resembles some mysterious ancient sculptural form. Mariana allows us to enter into this world where it is sometimes difficult to find a clear distinction between dreams and reality. Here, the hands and faces of mothers, children, and artisans are the clear evidence of the things that those people have seen, the places where they have been, and the way they have lived. Mariana has become one more inhabitant of the world she found years ago. Juan Rulfo's Juan Preciado had his Comala. Mariana has her Mexico. She is unified with the spirit of her people because she is one of them. On the photograph, Esperando al Padrecito, the viewer sees a group of four women waiting for the priest outside of a church. What some viewers fail to see in this photograph is that there are actually five women in this composition. The fifth woman is behind the camera and prefers to remain anonymous. She wants her presence to be unobtrusive, but even though she chooses to be unseen in her photographs, the careful observer notices her presence in each one of her images. The careful observer notices a woman who is trying to find connections. We see a woman who is trying to understand, a woman who lends her eyes. We see Mariana there, finding beauty.